Good game, Sandy. Yeah, you were great. Only because she didn't kill you. Most adorable imposter ever. Thank you. Shh. Your mom, wanna team up? Sure, I'd like that very much. Unless you're the imposter, of course. You're not, are you? <laughs> no, I'm not, darling. I'm just trying to be a proper knight in shining, uh, space gear. <laughs> you're so funny. Okay, let's go, Mr. Gritz. Maybe I should have been nicer to her. Oh well, life goes on. I have stuff to do. I want to go get a snack in the cafeteria after this. I'm hungry. Sure, Sandy. Snowball? Oh no! Snowball! I don't think I'm gonna make it, Sandy. I'm sorry. Take good care of yourself, Sandy. My love. No, Snowball, don't go. <laughs> hey, the game didn't end, and there is only one imposter on this ship. Me. Hmm, I wonder if I can still kill. I wish I could tell Sandy to stop crying. I guess she really cares about me, huh? What's up, Sandy? <laughs> Snowball is dead. <laughs> oh no. I'm sorry, Sandy. Did you see who killed him? Yeah, A any sauces? Mr. Gritz has been acting suspiciously. That's true. Are you guys serious? Would you stop it? Snowball killed himself. It was an accident. He was fixing the wires. I heard a spark, and then there was an explosion, and then and then Snowball was gone. You killed Snowball? Wow, Sandy. <laughs> You killed him, and now you're making it look like a suicide? I would never, ever, ever do anything to hurt Snowball. You have to trust me. I agree with Sandy. I'm skipping. Me too. I'm with Jeff and Mrs. Potato on this one. I'll teach him a lesson for speaking to my lady like that. Who said that? Am I hearing voices? I hope I'm not losing it. If by it you mean your life, then definitely. Awesome. I can still kill. Who you gonna call? Ghost imposters! Bum, ba, da, bum, 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 bum. Ah! Oh man, I got my friend. Where? Any susses? Sandy, you killed Mrs. Potato? Shut up, Jeff. I found the body in navigation, but there was no one there when I walked in. I was with Mr. Gritz in Medbay. He scanned, so he's safe. Yeah, your mum is safe too. I was with Banana. Where were you, Sandy? In electrical. Crying. Huh, a likely story. Give her a break. I'm skipping again. Me too. You're having fun, aren't you? They'll never be able to figure out it's you. Even if they do, there's no way to throw you off the ship. And there isn't a thing you can do about it. <laughs> Catch you later, Mrs. Potato. When this game is over, we're going on vacation. And we're going to have so much fun. <laughs> I can't wait. It wasn't me! It wasn't me! Don't listen to Mr. Pepperoni Man! Jeff is guilty. He was standing over Banana's dead body when I entered Upper Engine. And he tried to accuse me! The nerve! I thought you were a more clever imposter. It's never wise to kill anyone in Upper Engine. Uh, unless you're next to a vent, that is. Well, maybe Jeff isn't lying. 
Jeff is usually smart. It's not me. I think it is you. I agree with Mr. Gritz. Oh, come on. <gasps> <laughs> what you kill me for? Don't take it personally, Banana. Snowball, you're the imposter? That's crazy. You're a ghost. I really thought it was Sandy. Yeah, that's why I had to have you thrown off the ship. You idiots. I will get you back for this. It's unfortunate that you simpletons can't vent. You'll never prevent me from winning. You're a perfect scientist, Mr. Gritz. And you're so beautiful. Ugh. Lame. <coughs> ah, your mom! Are you okay? Please wake up. Don't leave me. I I was with your mom in Medbay. One minute we were having a nice conversation and the next, she wasn't breathing. It looked like she was being strangled, but I couldn't see what was strangling her. Oh, a mysterious strangulation. That story is ridiculous, Mr. Gritz. I've never heard of such a thing happening. I don't think it's possible. And you were all in med bay for crying out loud. There must be lots of equipment in there you could have used to save her. But you just watched her die. I... I... It... It wasn't me! <laughs> Mr. Pepperoni Man, where were you? What? I was downloading data and communications. I was there, but I didn't see you around. Well, maybe you were there before me. I really don't think it was Mr. Gritz. Maybe Mr. Pepperoni Man has found a way to make himself invisible. Maybe he's the imposter. Mr. Gritz would not kill your mom. You have a point. No, she doesn't. That makes no sense. Goodbye, nincompoops. Aw, she's so cute. Anyway, I know the ghost crewmates want to sabotage me. I think I'll entertain them for a while before I kill Chester, Poop, and Mr. Gritz, and win the game. Na 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 ma 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 way to the reactor to kill Chester. Voices. Am I losing my mind? I guess Snowball's ghost has been with me this whole time. I found Mr. Gritz in the corridor. There was no one else around. They were right about you, Sandy. It's not me. I was in communications this whole time. It must be you. It's you. It's not. Well, aren't you going to kill me and win the game? Well, I would if I actually was the imposter. But you are. Okay, this is getting boring. What on earth was that? Sandy, it was an accident. You forgive me, right? Of course. Good game, Snowball. Yeah, good game. And I was the only survivor. I guess that makes me the best crewmate. Anyway, goodbye for a while. Your mom and I are going on vacation. See you all later. <laughs> 